Hey everyone, I'm Case Aiken, and continuing the Superman analogs as days of the week, well, you knew this one was coming, because next up is Thursday, which is the Day of Thunder, in honor of Thor. Thor is the ultimate expression of the take that Superman is a god who struggles to live like a man. He's Marvel's frontline, red-caped, blue-clad, flying strongman. Thor is also a huge movie property now, so I'll give the following background, but I expect you all to be fairly familiar with the character. Thor is the Norse god of thunder. His central lesson is about a powerful being discovering humility. Stories that overlook that element tend to lose the point. But in order for that humbling to happen, Thor is quite a bit more powerful than the average Marvel superhero. Like, he's really powerful. Like, world-breakingly powerful. On more than one occasion, including the current run of the comic, we've seen him ascend to Allfather, King of the Gods, and one of the most powerful beings in all of Marvel Comics. And he's also a brutish Viking, and a super advanced alien. He's pretty weird. Thor is the sneak preview for pretty much everything Jack Kirby would do after the 60s. And that means there's a lot of settings you can put him in and have him work. I mean, there's a reason that Thor Ragnarok was such a hit movie. It was weird and crazy and out there and sci-fi, and it still perfectly fit our resident elemental barbarian. He's a character that can fit anywhere. And in fact, a drinking game I have with my friends is when watching a movie that Thor is in, if he just kind of rolls with a weird situation without it being explained to him, take a drink. It works perfectly. It's great. I should also note that Jack Kirby really liked the mortal form transforming into super form shtick. You see this later with Infinity Man and with the demon, but all of this traces back to Captain Marvel Shazam. And like some of those classic superheroes, he also has a pantheon of allies. On top of the other Asgardians, obviously, he also has a whole slew of connected heroes. Future versions, alien versions, female versions, space traveling war goats. Thor has them all. And even more so, he's had various forms himself. Recently, his role was assumed by Jane Foster, but he's also been turned into a frog. He's been cursed with brittle bones and trapped inside an impregnable armor. And he had his own edgy, jacket-wearing 90s counterpart, Thunderstrike. However, unlike Superman, he's actually successfully had costumes change from time to time that stuck. Which is not to say there weren't any clunkers. I mean, some of us lived through the 90s. Thor has had many versions. He has a deep lore in his own books, not to mention the greater world of mythology that he can draw upon for stories. It all comes together for a truly great pillar of superheroic fantasy. And Thor continues to be an exciting Marvel property about a hero always trying to do what's right in spite of his vast power. I'd recommend anyone interested in the character to dig up the Walt Simonson run, which has been collected in trades, and start there. From there, you can see how truly flexible and versatile the character is. And then you can move on to the great runs by guys like Dan Jurgens or Jason Aaron. He's a central figure to almost every major Marvel story. If he's not a part of the story, then you can bet that there's a point somewhere in there where a character mentions how his absence affects the stakes. He is, after all, Marvel's real answer to Superman. This video series started off as an ongoing series of Twitter threads cataloging the various Superman analogs that came to my brain's base meat thing. There's a link in the description below. Also, I have a podcast about Superman stuff. It's called Men of Steel. Check it out. You can find it at certainpov.com. Also at certainpov.com, you can find tons of other great shows, some of which I host, many of which I don't, but they're all great. Check them out. Also do the YouTube stuff, you know, like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Do it all. Do the things. Talk to you later.